with Aldridge and West End and Duncan Leonard and Ginobili coming back. How good is this Spurs team now? The best team in the league, Lindsay. And all we have to go on is paper right now. And I know all the Warriors people, you know, in a hangover from the celebration out there saying, wait a minute, we're the champs. It changes every year. And if you don't get better, okay, you can't keep up with the Spurs. Let's just listen to their second five, if you will. And we know Greg Popovich will use them, and a lot. David West, Manu Ginobili, Patty Mills, Bonner, Boris Diaw. There's like three NBA starters in the second five. Their second five would make the playoffs in the Eastern Conference. So when you look at a lineup with Duncan Leonard and, and Aldridge and Danny Green and Parker, how can you not, as you anticipate the season, list them number one, Jason? I, I think they are number one without question. I don't think this is an all-time great team. I think this is like a great team for the postseason and for their system. And so when, when I think all-time great, I think of the Sixers 4-4-4 full, full, full team with, with Moses Malone. And you knew that team was going to be dominant. The Spurs will win 55 regular season games, and then they'll get to the postseason, and they'll win every series 4-2, 4-1, something like that. I, and then they'll get to the finals and play Cleveland. It'll be great. It'll be maybe a six- or seven-game series, but I do think they're the prohibitive favorite. I just think David West coming just adds just another dimension in terms of giving Tim Duncan rest. That just It's impressive what they've put together this offseason. Is it crazy that he passed up millions to come to this organization? Well, you know what, T I, Lindsay, first of all, most people say, oh, my God, how can you turn down $12 million hey, yeah. to accept a million and a half? There are players who turn down millions, maybe not that much. I mean, a, a guy like Matt Bonner, who goes overlooked, a role player, you know, a, a really good role player for years, has done this for years, has at times turned down $5 million, $6 million in a year to get a million dollars to play with a contender. David West is telling you, and look, we know the, the, the Spurs value sacrifice more than Perhaps any franchise values sacrifice. Greg Popovich and on up the ladder with the executive core. David West wants to win. He wants to hook up with these guys. And he's also betting that he can play well enough and his resume with a championship on the top line will convey pretty well the next year when all the TV money kicks in and he'll be wanted somewhere, whether it's San Antonio or elsewhere. I think he's also set himself up post-career. He's a very interesting story right now. I don't think it's crazy what he's done. I think it's inspiring, and I think the level of respect he's going to get from sports fans and from people around the NBA is going to go through the roof, and maybe he's setting up a nice broadcast career for himself. He's someone I want to hear from now, an athlete who really put his money where his mouth is, turning down $11 million to go chase a championship. Really impressive. And this is a guy, I think he's made $87, $88 million in his career. He's not someone that's made $150 million. I don't know, $87, $88 is a lot of money. But, wow, this is really impressive.